in this lecture we are going to learn about integrating some functions of the form dx by ax square plus bx plus c so this is a quadratic function here then dx by root under ax square plus bx plus c so this is something like a quadratic function under square root then you have integral px plus q by ax square plus bx plus c so this is again in the numerator you have a linear function and in the denominator you have a quadratic function and finally another form is that in the denominator you have square root of a quadratic function and on numerator you have a linear function okay so these are different kind of problems that we are going to learn okay but just before doing that we should revise what we have learnt in the last class that is for solving these kind of problems you should remember integrals of form dx by x square minus a square dx by a square minus x square dx by x square plus a square and this one is dx by root under x square minus a square so these different forms of integrals you should remember then it will be easier okay so that will make your life easier otherwise every time you have to derive this also okay so moving forward we see that if first integral is of the form dx by root and by ax square plus bx plus c okay so what we can do is we can write ax square plus bx plus c we can take a out as a common factor then it becomes x square plus b by a x plus c by a okay now we have learned that okay if we can somehow bring it of the form x square minus a square a square minus x square x square plus a square something like this then we can directly use these formulas okay so what we do is now we want to complete this square so what we do so x in plus 2 into b by 2a this we can write this one 2 in numerator 2 in denominator then we add this term b square by 4a square so this what happens this makes a complete square but as we had added this term so we also subtract this term okay hence this term now becomes x by x plus b by 2a whole square and this one becomes c by a minus b square by 4a square okay so here we see we are getting something of the form t square plus some constant okay so what we can do to bring it of the form this is we put t is equal to x plus b by 2a then dt is equal to do a dx very simple and we put this number c by a minus b square by 4 square as k square okay so now it becomes the integral becomes of the form dt by t square plus minus k square so depending upon the sign of this okay so what happens is now we will be having it of the form x square minus a square okay this form or this form or this form okay in these three forms our problem will come so we try to solve one simple problem we have integral dx by x square minus 6x plus 13 so again we write this as x square minus 2 into 3x so we see we again want to make a square term so 3 square is 9 still left is 4 so this becomes x minus 3 whole square this whole thing and this is 2 square so we put t is equal to x minus 3 hence dt is equal to dx we can now replace this term as dx is now dt and this we can write as x minus 3 square which is t square plus 2 square now we know that okay integral of form dx by x square plus a square is 1 by a tan inverse x by a if you see the last formula 
so here we can directly write it as tan inverse t by 2 plus constant and this is 1 by a so 1 by 2 now replace t by x minus 3 we get 1 by 2 tan inverse x minus 3 by 2 plus c okay so this is the answer the integral for this problem we will look at another example so that example will be of a square root okay so dx by root under 5x square minus 2x okay so again we see that okay this is something a quadratic function in the denominator which is under square root so we try to make it a square term plus minus something okay so 5x square minus 2x so this is equal to 5x square minus 2 into 1 by 5x okay and this becomes 5 x square minus 2 into 1 by 5 x plus 1 by 25 to complete the square we can add this one and then subtract 1 by 25 okay so this is 5 x minus 1 by 5 whole square minus 1 by 5 whole square okay so we have got the expression like t square minus k square okay so what we can do t is equal to x minus 1 by 5 so dt is equal to dx and then what happens this integral becomes so dt by root under so this 5 comes out and this is t square minus 1 by 5 whole square okay so we can take out the constant term 1 by root 5 out and this becomes dt by root under t square minus 1 by 5 whole square okay so now this is a very similar form for what we have already studied so dx by root under x square minus a square which is log of mod x plus root under x square minus a square so we simply use this formula here so this is log of mod x plus root under x square minus a square plus c okay so this is the integral and what we do so here this is the problem so its integral is now 1 by root 5 so log of t plus root under t square minus 1 by 5 square plus c okay so now we can replace this t with 1 by root 5 log of t is x minus 1 by 5 plus root under x minus 1 by 5 whole square minus 1 by 5 whole square okay so this is the answer for this particular problem so x minus 1 by 5 plus x minus 1 by 5 whole square minus 1 by 5 whole square so you can further simplify this but this is also correct answer we will look at now different form problem so that is one problem of the form x plus 2 by 2x square plus 6x plus 5 dx okay so we look into this problem so this is of the form if we remember px plus q by ax square plus bx plus c dx okay so how to do this again now what we have to do is we have to first again 2x square plus or what we can do 
is just write this x plus 2 now as a into the derivative of this which is 4x plus 6 plus b ok so derivative of this plus some b ok so now let us see what it becomes so this means this is an identity so this means 4 a is equal to 1 comparing the coefficient of x and 6 a plus b is equal to 2 so a is equal to 1 by 4 and so replacing here so 6 by 4 so 3 by 2 plus b is equal to 2 so b is equal to half so now we can write this one as the upper sum as 1 by 4 4x plus 6 plus half okay dx by 2x square plus 6x plus 5 which becomes now 2 integral first one is 1 by 4 4x plus 6 by 2x square plus 6 x plus 5 dx plus half dx by 2x square plus 6x plus 5 ok so now we have got two integrals first one is this i1 and another one is i2 so let's try to evaluate both of them separately so first one is easier because now what happens you make t is equal to 2x square plus 6x plus 5 then what happens dt is 4x plus 6 ok so this integral based on substitution it becomes 1 by 4 dt by t ok which is very simple now so i1 is 1 by 4 log of mod t and which is 1 by 4 log of t is 2x square plus 6x plus 5 okay so this one we are able to solve the next one is dx by 2x square plus 6x plus 5 okay so next one is integral dx by 2x square plus 6x plus 5 just check it okay and what happens here you will see that it is of the form t square x square plus a square so what we do 2x square plus 6x plus 5 we make it equal to 2x square plus 3x plus 5 by 2 and this is equal to 2x square plus 2 into 3 by 2x plus 9 by 4 plus 5 by 2 minus 9 by 4 ok and this is completing the square so this is x plus 3 by 2 whole square plus this one becomes 1 by 4 ok and then we can put t is equal to x plus 3 by 2 so dt is equal to dx and this integral becomes half dt by 2 into t square plus 1 by 2 whole square ok so this again now is in our domain so now it becomes 1 by 4 dt by t square plus half square now we know the formula so this is 1 by a so 1 by 1 by 2 tan inverse t by half so this is 2t so this is now 1 by 4 so this is 2 so half tan inverse 2t and 2t is what x plus 3 by 2 so 2x plus 3 ok so the second integral i2 is this and the first integral i1 was this so it is the summation of both so the thing that you have to remember is now here you cannot directly apply 
the form dx by x square plus a square but we make use of the two previous things that we had studied integration by substitution try to make this term because we know x square is there x is there so if we differentiate this we will get something like a first order function so we make it equal to sum of half in 1 by 4 into 4x plus 6 which is the derivative of this and this part we can use as substitution and other one is half dx by 2x square plus 6x plus 5 which can take the form standard form dx by x square plus a square and then we solve both of them using sum integral sum and we are able to solve it so i hope you understand this video if you like this video please subscribe to my youtube channel thanks a lot